All right, YouTube, what's happening? We've got a flashlight video for you today. Looking at a little tiny guy here, the Fulamov EDCC1. This is the aluminum version. It comes in a brass version as well, which is pretty cool. It is a AAA size light. It runs on a lithium ion, uh, I believe it's a 10440 battery. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And it's rechargeable. It's got the little port there. Uh, comparing it to a regular AAA here. Yep, same exact size. So, but lithium ion, so typically meaning that it's a 10440. And it puts out 400 lumens, a uh, pretty bright little flashlight. It has a nat natural white 5000K emitter with a high CRI of um, 80. So, pretty cool there. Um, well, putting it in backwards. The bezel up thing is messing with me. So it is a tiny, tiny little flashlight compared to the Olight i3T, very common, popular AAA light, and the Streamlight MicroStream USB. Um, but the interesting thing is it actually completely like outshines, <laughs> literally outshines both of these uh, lights because it's putting out 200 more lumens, I believe, than the Streamlight. Maybe, maybe a little bit less than that. And then uh, I think this one's under 200. Streamlight USB, I think, is around 280. So more, so it's more like 120 more lumens um, output. So let's go ahead and go over the basic specs. So you do get a Nichia E21A LED on this. Um, it is a 10440 battery, like I thought. And turbo is 400 lumens, uh, lasts for half an hour, which is actually pretty good runtime. Uh, high is 160 lumens, 0.8 hours, medium 50 lumens, low 10, moon mode 0.5, strobe 160 lumens. There's also an SOS and a beacon mode. Now, there's actually two, it's a multi-function tail switch, which is pretty cool. So you can get um, a tactical mode or an illumination mode. So... I'll show you the differences here. I think I have it set in tactical mode now. So if you double tap the, um, you can see it's in strobe right now. Tap it back on, it goes up to high. And then you can cycle through the modes just by clicking the rear tail switch. But from the off position, tactical mode, it goes into um, strobe mode. So to change that, you just press the, the tail switch seven times consecutively. So see how it flashed six times? That tells you it changed to illumination mode. And then if you want an illumination mode, if you double click, oh, it shouldn't be going on the strobe. That's interesting. I thought I changed it. Yeah, it's, it's like, that's interesting. Let's try that again. Okay. Weird. Um, it should have been switching to elimination mode. Therefore, when you double click it on with that, it'll go to high mode, turbo. Which I would prefer. I'm not much of a... a, a um, um, I'm not much of a, you know, strobe guy. Um, according to this, press and hold the tail switch to access turbo mode temporarily. See, that's not doing that. That's, that's like low mode. So, I don't know. Something's up with the, <laughs> the mode switching on this guy because it's not, it's not working as advertised. Uh, I should have gone back to elimination mode. But if you hold down the um, tail switch for half a second, it'll go into a moonlight level. And then you can go into your memory mode as well. So it does have a memory mode. And you have the option to switch between tactician and illumination mode. Oh, I'm not sure why it's not switching properly for me. But it's not. It should automatically come on high here, not strobe. So we'll have to figure that out. But... It's cool that it has that many options and that many different modes and it can change things and it's super bright for how small of a light it is. It's just teeny. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to bring in the uh, outdoor footage and we'll wrap it up. 
All right, out the EDC-01. Initial mode here. Medium, low, medium, high. 400 lumens. Teeny, teeny little flashlight. Pretty dang bright for its size. And look at that. It's one AAA. 10440 actually, I believe, but still. Off, and then if you double click, strobe. Pretty good beam pattern for such a small light. And it goes right on turbo with two clicks. 400 lumens out of that little tiny light. Pretty remarkable. Let's compare it to the... All right guys, so you can see for such a tiny little light, it is plenty bright. It definitely outshines these two. Um, gosh, my kids sometimes can be so loud. Hopefully you can't hear them. Up. I can hear them as I'm recording this video. Um, hopefully you can't in the background. So here's the comparison of beam shots here. And let's turn off some of these studio lights I've got here. Just so you can kind of get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. There we go. So you can see the Olight has a much more like focused beam. The And you can see the difference in the temperatures as well. Um, between the Streamlight, the Fulamov, and the, the uh, Olight there. Much more neutral on this. And I would say the Streamlight actually has a like a wider beam even than the Fulamov, whereas the Olight is pretty focused. I think they use that TRA lens on there to get that a little bit more focused. So it kind of depends on what you want. Size-wise, obviously, the Fulamov is teenier by a good margin now what i don't like about this light is it's almost too small and i thought it sounds crazy right because it's kind of the the pull to this but i can't i can barely like get it in my it's just gets swallowed i don't have huge hands by any stretch of imagination and it gets swallowed up in my hand um i wish it had a little bit more length because one thing i like about both of these AAA lights is that you get the full you can get a full grip on there on your hand and you know, if you wanted to use them as a, in conjunction, like as an EDC light with your firearm, you could. They're not quite bright enough. I, I feel like the US, MicroStream USB is. Um, I don't think the, the Olight is. And the full Molov definitely is. It would have been perfect. Has a good, nice, nice little tail switch. I mean, again, it's going on strobe. I think it's like bugged, but you should be able to go into high, which I like. And if it had just a little bit more length, I get it, you know, fully in my hand, and feel a little more solid, but it's, it's just so tiny. Um, so if you're looking for a super, super small EDC light that's bright, definitely a great choice. Only 30 bucks on Amazon. Like I said, there's also a brass version. The other thing I don't love is the tail switch. Well, so they, they did this bezel up clip, and I know why they did it, because it made it smaller. And so you could, because if you carry it tip down, not tip down, bezel down, um, the, the switch will activate really easily in the pocket. So I was carrying this in my front pocket, in like my watch pocket, and it was, um, it was, it, it would come on all the time. If I carried it in my left pocket to my jeans, my pants, um, with the bezel up, it never came on. So, you know, I, I don't love bezel up clips. That's one of the reasons I'm not a huge Olight fan, because most of their clips are bezel up. They started going to these kind of two-way clips, which are nice. Um, that's why I like this little Olight, but yeah, overall, um, I wish it had a little bit more length. Wish it didn't have the um, t the bezel up clip. Other than that, it's great little light. Um, I like the the temperature. the The CRI is high on it. It's 400 lumens for such a small light. I mean, I don't think I don't think there's a light this size that's that bright. It could be the brightest, smallest, and brightest flashlight out there um, as far as running on a single um, AAA size battery. Could be wrong, but it seems like to me, from recent memory, I can't think of anything that's over 400 lumens. That's pretty crazy. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.